Hello everyone, Aaron here from ASM Computing. Today I'm going to be doing another tutorial in Flash CS4 using the motion tween effect. Now with Flash CS4 they have put a new feature in which makes it easier for making motion tweens. Now I don't believe you can actually do it in CS3 but if I'm wrong obviously leave me a comment and I will apologise to you but as I say I'm definitely sure it's only CS4 that allows you to do this. As I say, I know you can do motion tweening, or I believe you can do motion tweening in CS3, but the way I'm going to be showing you is the new way you can do it in CS4. So let's open up Flash CS4. I'm going to select new Flash file action script 3. Now I'm not going to change any of the size or the colour of the stage, as I'm not showing you a big application, I'm just literally showing you the motion tween effect so I don't need to change any of the default settings if you need to change them just simply select your properties tab here on the right or you can select window and select properties here or control on F3 and that will open it up also if you want the layout as I've got so you've got all your tools on the left and everything else on the right just Select this drop down list up here on the right, uh, sorry, on the top, and that will give you all your layout options. And I've got mine set at classic. So on the left, I'm going to where the um, symbols are, I'm going to hold that down and I'm going to select rectangle tool. So I'm just going to draw a simple rectangle out on stage. Now you can use whatever shape, picture whatever you want to put a motion tween to and let's just right click on the symbol convert to symbol for the tutorial I'm just going to simply call it square I'm going to leave it as a movie clip and the registration as the middle select OK now you can see we have our square as a movie clip and you can double click to get inside that, make any other alterations you want in there or any other effect and then you come back out and you'll then see it all working when you push control and enter to, to test the movie. So what I'm going to do is now I'm back on scene one. So as you can see at the top, my frame rate per second is set at 24 now I can increase that so let's select 30 just to show you the difference and rather than coming out to frame say 25 pushing F6 then making your motion tween to go between it the easiest way to do it, so I'm just going to push Ctrl and Z to undo all of that, get back to the beginning. The easiest way to do that is on the square, I'm just going to right click and create motion tween. Now if you watch on the top of the timeline, you'll see that I will already have a keyframe and the motion tween inserted for me to frame 30. As obviously I showed you, I've got it set at 30 frames per second. Let's select Create Motion Tween. And as you can see, it's uh, already done that for me. And the best bit about it is now, if I wanted to move my square from the left side here over to the right, all I need to do is hold the square and just drag it across. And then you'll see this green line come up. Now this green line means this is what's going to happen between and all the little dots are the speed so you can actually change them if you like but just being basics to show these newbies I'm just going to leave that as it is and I'm going to push control and enter and just show you guys what it looks like just so you can see how it works and as you can see I've not had to do nothing on the timeline, I've just had to literally click a few buttons, select a few options and just drag the square from one side to the other. 
So it makes it very useful and easy to make motion tweens. So I hope that helps you guys and uh, please rate and comment on the video if you like it and I'll get some more up soon. Okay guys, well, good luck and see you later.